Great question. Clays, let me get rid of this banner. Rob, did you continue DCing? So the plan was, I have been DCing since 2017, but as you recall, last week, I was like, I'm gonna stop DCing for this week because this was, I felt that when the CPI numbers came out on Friday, I go, there's no way they're not gonna be low unless they, unless they straight up lie to us. I'm like, the inflation's all around us. I can tell, and when those CPI numbers come out and they're hot, what's that gonna do? It's gonna, it's gonna junk the market. And then I will just wait for it to go down and I will buy there. And I said, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I said, but if it is that, if it is the case and the CPI numbers do come out positive or you know, come out low, then I'll just wait for those numbers and I'll immediately buy as much as I can because the, you know, the market will probably go up. Well, it worked out the way that I thought it would. CPI numbers are high. I think the Fed Reserve meeting is Wednesday. They're gonna come out and say three quarter basis points or one full basis points. That's what I think. I could be wrong. And I think it's gonna go down even more because that's not priced in, sorry. So what I did was I bought a little bit on Friday and I'm gonna wait again on Wednesday. And I'm just gonna, the, the money that I usually put into Bitcoin, I will just save it up and wait for the Fed to come out. I still think if the Fed comes out and says 0.5, it'll still go down. That's just how it is. So I think we got a lot more pain uh, to go, but DCAing is the safest way. Just right now, just buying the dips, like I haven't talked about that for a while. I don't, I'm all dipped out a long time ago. So I just, just do the basis, basis that I can, but uh, not, there's only two alts I buy and that's it. All right, hope I answer your question. What? What? How dare you? King of the show. Well, you have a point. All right, so then we go there. <laughs> what is this? Ben Cowan's, why is gay? Ben Cowan's other call for possible sub. And he did say that. I, I listened to his, uh, I don't know if that was a, uh, for his members, because he's got a great website, app.inthecryptiverse. Links in the website, not affiliate link. Go check that out. A lot of great, a lot of great uh, data and charts on there. I, and I did in one of his one of his shows. He said, "Yeah, we could see around 20k." And he always says the same thing. I could be wrong. <laughs> and hopefully, he's wrong. Let's see. Hey, Rob, is there any new promising crypto products being built, released in these bear days? Yes, and it's called Sweatcoin. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a deep dive video, not on this channel. This is not the channel to do deep dives into degenerate new projects. That's for Dan Degen. This channel is the basics, get you through, get your mindset right so that you can deal with the things that are coming about. And then Dan Degen, we just talk about the crazy stuff that you can gamble on. That's it. If you wanna like, lose all your money, go watch Dan Degen. That's what I always say. And if, it, if he makes some money, well, sure. Uh, Rob. Uh, with your properties or you're renting houses, do you own apartments? Just wondering what they look like. So what, my wife owns apartments. <laughs> so I guess I, I guess I do, but uh, we own houses and we rent them all out on uh, Airbnb and Verbo. And right now travel is still pretty good. But what's great about that is that like in Houston, people still come to Houston for, for jobs or people get relocated. So that works out pretty well. And people in El Paso, there's a thriving uh, military community. So that'll always be there. And then just remember that even if you have properties that you usually use for, for rentals for vacation or you're you know doing whatever it is, short-term rentals, just remember that if a, just like in 0809, if there's a big economic, big, big pullback, people still gotta live someplace. And they may unfortunately lose their houses. And that sucks. That's the reality for a lot of people, you know, especially when uh, job markets start to dry up if that actually happens. So if that happens, people got to, they can't afford houses, but they got to rent someplace. And that's why you would be in a great position to rent out any of those properties that you potentially own and hopefully give those people a nice price break for going through hard times because you're a compassionate person. That's it. Uh <laughs> that's funny bootsy let's see 
I've been adding, Benji says, I've been adding Beachy on these dips. Nobody's talking, so I'm walking my regime. Heard there was a partnership between them and UFC. I don't know if that was a long time ago. I don't know. Celsius is dodgy. There's a lot of dodgy things out there, let's be honest. I met a lot of dodgy people in consensus. I'll tell you that. Shilling sweat coin. You better believe it. It's awesome. So, I again, for these deep dives, just so you know, like over in Dan Degen, we've done three so far. We've done uh, against Akishi, which worked out great. Uh, Everdome, pretty good. And Fame worked out great too. And uh, in the old days of the pump and dumps, ICOs, what people would do is they would say, let me talk about your coin and then I will dump it on all my people. So that doesn't work anymore. That doesn't, that doesn't happen because then those people aren't here anymore. See, I plan to be here for the next 5, 10, 15 years as long as I can mentally keep doing these things. So for these projects, uh, they're like, do you want in? Sure, I want in. Great. Well, you got to pay us because if you want the coins, that's how it works. Also, uh, if you want to you know, get some kind of head start, that's fine, but you're not going to get any deals. And we're definitely going to give you a lockup period. And it's going to be more than the other ones. Oh, and also, uh, if you want to do anything, then you're going to have, you know, you have to have some more people on. Okay. So really in general, what I'm doing is I still got to pay just like you. And what does that mean? That means that if I'm going to talk about, that's why I talk about like, I, every so often I'll talk about uh, Genso Kishi and fame and Everdome because I still own those and I want them to do well. So yes, I am biased on these things because I own them. So if you hear me talking about it, you're like, oh, Rob must own that. That's it. I'm very biased. Rob is not cool. Rob hasn't been cool for a long time. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What projects you invest in? A lot more Bitcoin now. Ethereum scares me. Ethereum scares me because this mergers and things are just not as smooth as what we... No one really thought it was going to be smooth. What, I'm not. Why am I lying? Everybody thought it was going to suck and it was going to be awful and it was going to go through a lot of things. I mean, only like the super, super Ethereum max was like, oh, it's going to be so awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to happen like no problem. Yeah, right. It's like trying to change an engine as it's going down the highway. It doesn't, it's super tough. And uh, tip my hat to those guys, you know, the developers that are doing it, but there's been problems abound. And uh, <laughs> one of the, uh, one of the people I talked to who, who owns a, Pretty big project, uh, top 50 crypto. He's like, yeah, yeah, Ethereum is AOL. <laughs> He's like, Ethereum is, the A Ethereum is the AOL of crypto. He's like, it won't be here forever. And I was like, maybe. But again, that's just hearsay. No one knows. Thoughts on Thena mainnet coming soon. Thank God. I've been holding on to that for way too long. I should have sold all that, but I just... I sold enough to take some profits. I was good. Again, I, I have a, 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 an inability to sell everything at the top perfectly and uh, a bad disposition of trying to buy everything at the very low bottom. It never happens. I don't think anybody can do that either. So that's it. But yeah, that would help out. I like, I like Theta. I like, I mean, the team and the people that are behind it. I mean, she, even Google is a validator for Pete's sakes, an enterprise validator. And then you got Steve Chen from YouTube who's uh, on the board or board or advisors or whatever else. So, I mean, they do good things. It's just, you know, who knows? Yeah. Gareth Soloway calling for sub 220K Bitcoin. That is very true. Uh, my, my, my IPA is spaced us from Elysian. Ah, uh, Elysian. Dana. Do you think when the recession will be confirmed will be the best time to buy the dip? Uh, no, I think as soon as, see, here's the thing. Me personally, I think we're in recession right now. There's, there's, other, there's other analysts, Bank of America and whoever else, they, they don't think there's going to be a recession until 2023. I think this next quarter will confirm it. And I'm not, I'm not an economist. I'm just some guy in a pool room talking to you. But um, I don't. I I look around and I and I see the prices and I see the problem with uh, supply chains and I see the problem with uh, with lockdowns and the different things to actually rev up and do and the the Ukraine war is not going to go anywhere for quite some time. I just don't see the narrative of how we're, we positively break out of that and go. Okay, now we're growing. I just don't see it. I, maybe I'm missing something, but uh, I just don't. So what's going to happen is you, they're going to officially call a recession. People are going to freak out like, oh my God, this is it. The day is the recession. The sky is falling. 
and then uh, they're going to go, they're going to hoard their cash and the, and the market will drop and crypto will go way down, way down because it's a, it's a risk on, uh, on asset. And that'll be like that for till the end of the year. Sorry. I know. Rob is all full at hopium. This is true. <laughs> Sorry. And I, again, I could be wrong. Hope I'm wrong. Uh, looks like, yeah, I go follow Gareth. I do like, you know, one thing about Gareth I do like, he's just, he's not like pounding the table and like, this is definitely going to happen. Like some of these, some of these people who, you know, what's, what ticks me off is that people who call for uh, a depression every single year since 1998, and they're like, this is the year, and they're wrong. This is the year, this is then wrong. And this is the year, and they do it for like 20 years. And the time that like we do actually have a recession, like, see, told you. And you're like, you said that for 20 years. I got a broke watch. It's right twice a day. Huh. FOMO out there, everybody. We. Yeah. Science and facts. Gavin Wood is the founder of Polkadot and CEO of Web 3.0. Could be. <laughs> Rob, you sold all your ETH. I was actually accumulating ETH. I still have a, a decent amount, but. Uh, as it starts to, to go down, I mean, at this point, who knows how far it could go? I mean, we could go down another 50%, 80%. That's just, that's just the nature of crypto. Uh, I'll probably be looking at it, especially if there's any more, any more bad news about the merge and, and dropping blocks and things like that. I have to start unloading Ethereum, just go, go into Bitcoin. Ben said it pretty well. He said, uh, bear markets are when everybody are when the most people become Bitcoin maximalists. <laughs> ah, yeah. Patrick, I told you all. What are the top five coins you're accumulating? So, I mean, Bitcoin is, is the main one. It's the safest one, the most volatile market. USDC works out pretty well. And here's another thing. I'm, I'm this between us is that, uh, like I know Celsius has good yield and people like it, whatever else. But I mean, it seems like there's so there's there's things that came out. I've had Alex on the show and he explains this, and another things come out. And he has to come back and explain this. And I'm not saying anybody's guilty. I'm just saying sometimes with the smoke there's fire. Me personally, what ticked me off was, and they had to do this, I suppose, uh, accredited investors. April 15th, if you're in the United States and you're not an accredited investor and you put in after April 15th, you don't get yield on it. Before that. If you uh, put it in and you were or were not a credit investor, meaning you made over 200000 or $5 million in, a, in a, a business, you're fine. So I think that was like, like a big bend the knee type of thing to the uh, regulators, which I'm sure they had to do, I suppose. But I had Steve Earle, like the CEO of, of Voyager on. I'm like, how's that working out for you guys? And he's like, yeah, I don't know what they're doing, but uh, we don't have a problem with that. And we're still, we're, we're still giving yield. And they just rolled out their Voyager loyalty program 2.0. So if you're an American, not a credit investor, I don't know why you'd use Celsius. I personally have a good amount on Voyager. Again, I don't keep a lot. I don't keep like I don't keep like fifty percent of my portfolio into one uh, exchange. That's 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 foolhardy. That's uh, ridiculous. Control yourself. Control the money that you have. Control the crypto and put it onto your ledger. That's it. Ah, Kryptonian. Thank you. Glad ETH merger was delayed. Twenty twenty has not been a good crypto year. Could you imagine what a mess would have been if ETH merger was another Luna? The women of crypto. I got to tell you, there's there's two sides to that story, and I, I misquoted this last time when I was talking about uh, businesses that have been started up in like pretty bad uh, recessions and things like that. I said PayPal for some reason, but PayPal was has been around since like the late '90s. So sorry about that. But 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 uh, just so you know, uh, there's been some some pretty decent companies that have been started up. And when I was thinking of PayPal, I was thinking about this. You know, Venmo was started during that big recession. Venmo, 2009. Groupon, 2008. Instagram and Uber. Pinterest, Slack, Square was started in, Square was started in 2009. And some, that's about it. There's some other stuff, but I haven't really got it. But just so you know, like there's two ways to look at this. Like I was talking to Oleg, the CEO of Sweatcoin. I'm like, is this the good time to do it? He's like, 
no better time now. I mean, he's like, the market's pretty bad and we could actually use a little bit of uh, good news. And I was like, yeah, it's true. So, I mean, he's like, well, let's see. I do, I do like the utility on that one. That is for sure. Okay. Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. I own some. No, it's a great idea. Paul says, what about starting a self-storage facility for a side gig during market crash? There is an app right now that you can download. I forgot the name, but just like it's a sharing economy type of thing. Just like you can share your, your house on Airbnb. You can share, you can use your car and, and pick up strangers on Uber. I forgot the name of the app, but you can uh, use your uh, parts of your location and uh, have people store things there and just accumulate some kind of revenue for that. So why not? Same thing happened to me in 2017, 2018. I thought I was going to be a millionaire because everybody told me I was because that's what crypto was supposed to do. Remember? Didn't work out like that, but that's okay because then I just doubled down into my businesses and just grew them over the next couple of years. And then of course, dollar cost average and it worked out great, but that was just me. Can't tell you what to do. Marky seriously is back again. Where'd she go? Legend. Everybody was on Marky. Marky's been around. She knows things. Yeah. Well, see, there you go. Paul says all the storage companies here are fully occupied. <laughs> Great. Then do that. Side hustles are awesome. Make that extra money. Stock it away. Do what you want to do. This is the time to do it. I think. Uh, <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even put that out. Uh, when no countries starve, they will know why fiat is bad, but it'll be too late for them. Look, here's another thing. Like, I know we all think and we all want Bitcoin to become like the reserve currency of the world. That's not happening anytime soon. So let's just get that out of the way. And as far as like, like store of value and things like that, I mean, even, even Peter McCormick is uh, from what Bitcoin did. He says, look, he goes, I got to tell you, everything's, a, everything's an S coin except for these stable coins, which are built on other platforms like Ethereum, like Tron. He goes, if you're making 400 bucks a month and uh, your fiat is being you know, inflated away and you put it into Bitcoin and Bitcoin goes down you know, 20%, that's a big deal if you make 400 bucks a month, but you put in stable coins and it stays there and you know, whatever your currency is for your country, he goes, he goes, I can't disagree with that logic. So I'm just saying... There's sides everything. Laundromats, yeah. <laughs> uh, historically, let's see, this will be good. Historically, when young asset classes in a bear market, it takes everyone down. When, exi when exi existing, a, exiting, a bear market most balanced, but only a few continue to move higher the ones that prove themselves. Yeah, that's why I said like, we need this, we need this uh, recession because now we can figure out which ones of these projects are the real deal and actually do something and have utility and aren't backed by just these crazy VCs who think that they can just uh, pump everything up and it'll just work just because they have money. Show me the community, show me the utility, show me the team and show me the tokenomics. And let me see just how far it actually can go. And a lot of these projects are either going to go to the wayside or probably what I think is that bigger projects will start to absorb the smaller projects. It worked out pretty well for Amazon as they absorbed all those different warehouses and like a Zappos and Whole Foods and just name a litany of different other businesses. And it worked out pretty well for Facebook as they absorbed like WhatsApp and Instagram and stuff like that because... That's just what big businesses do, and they become juggernauts. So that's what I think a lot of these big products will do is just absorb other ones. All right. Uh, no, Gahandra, not yet. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait again for, for Wednesday. I still think we got to – I think Jay Powell is going to come out and say, hey, 0.75. That's it. Uh Here's a good point. The government loves your side hustles. As long as you keep paying taxes and refrain from critical thinking, you do whatever you want and they will love you. And here's another thing. So you know how people say cash is trash? I'm not saying I've personally done this. 
However, if I perform a task or people need a good or service and they happen to pay me in cash, you know what's great about cash? No one's got to know about it. That's not saying that I've ever done that with any of my businesses, but I'm just saying it, could, it, it can be done. It's very hard to track that as long as it's not like, you know, millions of dollars. So just saying. And on that note, I should probably get out of here before YouTube shuts me down. Uh, you know what? Last question. I just saw this. Do you lend and earn using your ledger? So I was just screwing around with my ledger today, matter of fact, moving some things around. And I saw that I can uh, do loans and things like that. But I don't think that's for my country. I'm in the United States. Specifically right now, I'm in Texas. So we're pretty stringent, maybe in other parts of the world. But I don't think I can. That's it. All right, everybody. So look, it's 48 minutes. Sunday, let's get out of here. Uh, enjoy the day. And uh, think about what we talked about, which was, yes, there's probably a recession coming. Yes, there's a lot more pain coming for some people, but you're not like everybody. Remember, these are huge opportunities. It's just how you play it. So that's it. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. All things we talk about are very time sensitive, especially today. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate everybody. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.